Another way to solve division problems is using the partial product. This problem will show a two by one digit division problem with no remainders. Our problem that we're gonna start with is going to be 75 dividing by three. Now what is interesting about this is that students can use facts that they are familiar with. To start this problem, we are going to extend our line all the way down and we're going to put a multiplication sign and an arrow over here. And we want students to work with facts that they know. It might be helpful for them to start with counting by the divisor on the outside and making a multiple tower of three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. They can also go higher and just think about it mentally. So to start this problem, I'm gonna use a fact that I know and I have also suggested that the students start with timesing it by five, timesing it by 10, timesing it by 20, something that they know to do automatically. They should not be guessing their multiplication facts. So first off, I'm going to just multiply three times 10. So I'm gonna do three times 10 because I know that is 30 and I know that's less than 75. So three times 10, my 10 is gonna go over here. After I've done that, I know that three times 10 is 30. I'm gonna put 30 here and just subtract this just to make the number smaller and easier to work with. Five minus zero is five and seven minus three is four. Okay. Now this is a little bit smaller of a number to work with here, three into 45. Well, I'm gonna try and do another group of 10 here. So three times 10 is 30, and I'm gonna sub subtract that to make that smaller. Five minus zero is five, and four minus three is one. Next up, I'm gonna take a look at what I have left, and that is three and 15. Well, I know if I count by three five times, that is gonna be 15. So I put my three times five over here and take the 15 over here and subtract. Now, I know this does not look like an answer to our problem, but we're not done yet. We need to take everything we have over here and add it together. We're going to take zero plus zero plus five, which would be five, and we're gonna take one plus one, which would be two. So my problem would be 75 dividing by three gives us an answer of 25. Students do know how to check their work and we're gonna write our check and we're going to do three times 25. We can always use multiplication to check our work and we should get our answer to be 75. Three times five is 15 plus my one. Three times two is six plus one is seven. So I started off with dividing 75 by three and that's what I have when I did this. So my answer, my quotient to 75 divided by three is going to be 25. Once again, that is our partial product two by one with no remainders.